Okay, uh, everyone, so let's uh, shift gears to the concept of functions in TypeScript and uh, how do we declare them and how are they generally to be used. Uh, uh, you can, of course, start off with a very simple function. Uh, you can write function hello and uh, this function does is that it uh, does console.log hello and that's plain JavaScript basically. That's converted into exactly the same uh, piece of code in JavaScript as you can see. And that should work. Uh, we can just uh, you know open our uh, console for a while and just uh, run it. Uh, we need to call this function. So uh, there we go, and that works. Okay, so that's basically uh, the simplest way of defining a function. But uh, a function, of course, can have uh, arguments uh, coming into it, and a function uh, can have a return type as well. So how do we treat all of those things one by one? So let's take a look. So let's say we have a function uh, to calculate the area, okay? Um, and this takes uh, a, which is and uh, b, and uh, we basically do is return a into b, something like this. So uh, you know uh, we already have uh, an issue here that is, um, you know that. Uh, a uh, parameter a implicitly has any type and parameter b implicitly has any type so there is a configuration flag called no implicit any if we don't have that flag then it's allowed but uh, technically we should have this flag in on for typescript and uh, get this error and this error means that you need to define the type of the parameter that gets, gets into a function and if i say that i oh, know it's going to be of type number and b is also going to be of type number uh, in that case uh, we can now do is you know console dot uh, log uh, area of uh, 10 across uh, 12 rectangle is uh, and i can call area and i can call you know 10 comma uh, 12 like this okay so uh, this area function as you can see uh, it's a function area that takes number and number and it actually returns a number as well so if i do like you know uh, uh, let area uh, 10 12 equal to um, area uh, 10 comma uh, 12 like this and actually use that variable here okay uh, so if you check the data type of this variable you will see that this is of uh, number data type that's because again uh, type inference works here a typescript compiler can see that the variables are of number data type so if you multiply two numbers the only possible outcome is that the output is also going to be of type number and we can just you know run this and see that area of uh, that rectangle and that's uh, printed so that's how you define the basic data types of uh, parameters inside a function like this now uh, you might also want to define the data type of a function uh, you know sometimes uh, some functions are you know uh, not uh, they don't take uh, it's not possible for the compiler to infer the data type directly like this uh, or because of any other reasons so let's say we have a function and we say that you know uh, get a timestamp and this function is uh, you know we want to define that this function is supposed to return string so as you see that right now there is an underscore here already uh, uh, underlined here which says that function whose declared type neither void nor any must return a value so we have to return a value unless our function is returning void uh, but our function does not return a void, it returns a string. So what we can do is, you know, uh, date dot now. And if I return this, uh, I'm still not fine here because date dot now is of data type number. So I can do dot uh, to uh, string, okay. Or I can do like uh, new date dot to string, okay. And so that's perfectly fine now. So now I can do, you know, console dot log. Um, time equal to and uh, i can do get timestamp like this okay so here we go so that's the time return to me in form of string here now uh, that's basically how you can define the return type of a function if you want to you know enforce a certain uh, type of return type on a function uh, for a function uh, like this you can write that uh, additionally it's uh, you can choose to write that or you can choose to omit that and the compiler can read that from here as well uh, you know, uh, so the purists in the language who who 
prefer you know always to define things properly they would suggest uh, or a lot of your lint rules can suggest that yes you should properly define a return type even if it is understandable from here because if a function is like more than one line if it is 10 lines of code then somebody has to dry run those 10 lines in their head to understand what the return type is so it's better that you you know define a return type like this here so this is how you define the data types of the incoming uh, parameters and this is how you uh, define the data type of the uh, you know return type of this function so that's how you do that okay